Godzilla King of the Monsters is soon to be available on Blu-ray and all the reveals it promises to bring are building my anticipation. Will we see more of the 17 and counting Titans? One such Titan that I feel really needs some more expansion is Makole Bembe. Although it had limited screen time by only being shown its name on a monarch screen, pun intended, it opens up and expands the lore of the Monsterverse just that bit further and today I want to explore the Titan known as Makole Bembe, or also dubbed Titanus Makole Bembe, which although it didn't appear in the film in any capacity outside of a name on a screen, it featured a little more prominently in the official novelization of the movie. Titanus Makole Bembe, as the movie is looking to build off of real world legends, religions and folklore, this titan's name is likely a reference point to the legendary cryptid in the Congo of the same name. As per the legend, the name itself means one who stops the flow of rivers, and it is a water dwelling monster. A creature that is believed to be a sauropod, a dinosaur. Now in universe, we can't be sure if this titan inspired the legend of the cryptid or the cryptid is what inspired the name of the titan. Now although he featured to a limited degree in the movie, Titanus Makole Bembe is actually expanded upon further in the movie's official novelization. We get some sense of the appearance of the beast and what the titan looks like. He is described as a grey quadruped with a reptilian back. The head is an interesting image as it bears some similarities to an elephant, albeit earless and the tusks point down instead of curving up. Its feet have five claws, presumably for attacking and defense, or for digging as the titan was discovered underground. The front legs of this titan are longer than its hind legs and the tail of this beast is twice as long as the rest of its body. Not only does this titan have razor sharp claws, but it also has a very crocodilian mouth, filled with teeth that call death to those that see them. And to round it out, Makole Bembe also has a curved horn on top of its head. Now the novelization explains that the titan is in Monarch Outpost 75, under secure containment. This outpost is located in Jebel Barka in Sudan, and Ghidorah wakes up all of the dormant titans and Makole is one of them. Now he rips himself free from his underground prison and proceeds to kill and eat all of the monarch operatives on sight. Now this could be that he is a carnivore, however this is unlikely due to most titans feeding on radiation of sorts. So it's likely that he did this out of simple instincts to kill and protect himself. And that ladies and gentlemen is Titanus Makole Bembe explained or as much as is possible at this point in time. Is this an addition to the MonsterVerse that you personally like? Is it something that you want to see more of? Personally, I really like this addition. I just feel it's such a shame to not show these creatures, especially having clearly thought them up and referenced the world itself within their own lore. It would have been great to see them in action. But anyway, and as always, please do leave all your thoughts down below. If you're new here, please do hit that subscribe button and smash like if you enjoyed this video. I've missed age. Take care.